morning. So right now it is 7.40 in the morning. Um, I have my first meeting at 8 a.m. And so I'm gonna do a quick five minutes getting ready um, because I literally have to be ready within the next five minutes. So really still have to make my coffee. So I first get out of the shower, usually I'll towel dry my hair and then I'll just kind of let it air dry, scrunch it a little bit. I may put some leave-in conditioner in it, um, but we'll see. Okay. So I usually will do makeup in the morning. I like to do a little bit of white makeup because well, one, it ensures that I don't get back into bed. And two, it just feels like I've started my day. It's kind of like a little morning self-care routine. So I'll usually do um, brows uh, and then maybe a little eyeliner. I'm just going quick with this because I mean, they don't have to be twins when it's just working remote, you know? They can be sisters or even cousins, who cares? Now that I have my brows on, I'll probably, I like this e.l.f. moisturizer. It's the Holy Hydration Face Cream, Broad Spectrum SPF 30 with hyaluronic acid and peptide complex. So I like this because it's a really good moisturizer and it happens to have um, SPF in it. So it's always good to have that on in the morning. I'll let this sink in and I'll usually if when I'm wearing my SPF I like to coat it once it's dry with a little bit of matte powdered uh, like matte powdered foundation just to seal it all in and so I'm not as shiny okay so we'll let that dry then I'm gonna be doing if you're a glasses wearer, you know that you have to have a mirror because I cannot see myself in the mirror. So in order to do my weighing or any makeup, I have to have a hand mirror. Okay, one. getting ready quickly in the mornings because fun fact when I was in college I used to work at Clinique and so in between my um, classes I would, would always go to class without any makeup on um, and then I'd have to go to work and I'd have to like you know at least look presentable so I would have to like speed um, speed do my makeup and so it reminds me of those days I'm gonna put a little just leave-in conditioner for my hair. I don't where my other leave-in conditioner went. But we'll use this like Garnier one. I think I used to use this like same brand in like high school. It's been around forever. Let me know if you've used this because I feel like this brand has been around since a long while. Put off my hands. Feels like my face is pretty much dry. And I'm gonna use this, I just got this. It's the NYX Stay Matte, but not flat powder foundation. I got this because I had to do, um, I had to record this video for STEMCon 2020 and um, it was, I was recording it like while I was on my period or right before and I have something called hormonal rosacea so when I'm like either about to be on my period or am I get really bad rosacea on my cheeks and so I just felt like I needed a little something to like even out my skin tone for that normally I don't care but because I was recording it for something professional I was like okay maybe I should step it up and finally I'll just end with my 
give me brows. Um, let's see, let's see. Just to set my brows in place. I'm aware that this is has no order, no rhyme, or no reason for me getting ready. But according to my timer on my phone, it says five minutes, 35 seconds. So it's pretty sweet. Okay. And we'll take a little clip. Put that here. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Maybe I'll put on some earrings, but I don't have earrings in here. But yeah, that's how I get ready for work in the morning. A little five minute tutorial. Maybe I won't wear this. I'll just go natural hair once it dries. All right, but yeah, that's how I get ready in the morning. Five minute quick, quick little routine that helps me feel more alive, um, gets my skin primed for the day. I like that, I like putting on SPF put a little something in my hair to take care, add a little moisture. And then I like to put on the eyeliner. I don't put on mascara, mostly because I, I'm i not going anywhere today and it's such a pain to take off my makeup at night if I do put on mascara, but if I just do eyeliner, it usually comes off pretty quickly. So yeah, have a great day.